Tammy Carr, half of Trucking with the Cars, and we're doing a home time edition. Jeremy's going to share with you one of his favorite things to eat on the truck, heart jerky. Hey, we wanted to share with you a tasty way to get Oregon meats in your diet. Uh, we're at home and we're going to prepare jerky, but we're making it out of heart. Heart full of minerals like iron, CoQ10, and all B vitamins. It's a great way to pack in nutrition, whether you love jerky or like jerky, or <clears throat> it's a quick way to also just snack on something. Um, I'm going to show you how I uh, trim it up. Of course, we got the heart from uh, our, our butcher here in Texas. Uh, when you see these little valves here, which some in the supermarkets might have more, our, our, our butcher trimmed it up the best he could for us. Um, you, just, you just trim it off. And uh, also, you, you might have a layer of fat that you, you kind of work with to get off because if when we dehydrate it, dehyd fat, if you don't refrigerate it, can go rancid on you because it holds the moisture. So we want to trim the fat off best we can. Uh, we, we, we keep ours in the refrigerator because we can. We have a, a pretty good refrigerator so if there's some fat on there that we, we don't we don't want to say worry about it we haven't had a problem but for the sake of the video in case or the sake of someone not having refrigeration let's just trim it off that way we don't have to worry about it it's pretty good <clears throat> um, you know, when you, if you like jerky and you go and you're searching for good, you know, different brands or, or different textures, it's hard to find jerky that doesn't, isn't loaded with sugar. I've, I've tried, I've looked, maybe there might be one good brand out there at the truck stops. There's, but they, they still have sugar, you know, and, uh, or they have a bunch of other, uh, bad uh, ingredients, maybe bad, like uh, GMO corn or starch or GMO soy. Most of it has a bunch of soybeans that are uh, GMO. And the salt, you know, they probably season up with salt that's not, you know, just the table salt and not the good salt. So, another re good reason to make the jerky at home. Um, So, and as well as uh, cutting the sugars out, um, we are going to do two marinades today. The one is gonna really cut the sugars out. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and use a non-soy uh, product called Cocoa Aminos. It's a non-soy um, soy sauce made with, uh, from the fruit of the, or the flower of the, coconut. I don't know if you can see that, but it's called Coco Aminos. And then, you know, Lee Parents, Lee, Lee and Parents is that they, you know, they got a great flavor and it's pretty well, it's decent. It's pretty decent. So those two combined will make a, one of our mix. We've tried that before. Now, this is gonna be new. This is gonna be a new sauce. Have you ever had bagolgi? Bagolgi is in, like Korean, Korean barbecue, but it, it's known for super flavor, but also not, it's pretty sweet, pretty damn sweet. So we got some a GMO, non-GMO, I'm sorry. Oh. That way, I looked at the ingredients. There is something we don't normally eat, corn starch. It's non-GMO corn starch. So we're just gonna go, so I wanted to try it so bad, it's the only one I could find. So, 
it's got a non, it's also non soy. It's made from a product called Tamari or, or Tamari soy sauce, which is made from non GMO soybeans again. And there is some cane sugar in it. So, like I said, I said we were trying to cut the sugars out. We're gonna go ahead and just do a little bit in, a, in one pack and see how it comes out. Uh, we're gonna trim it up and dehydrate it. Now, since we, your heart usually, they usually put a, a slice in there. I don't know why, but I go ahead and I uh, just use it since I've already sliced it. Now uh, it looks, it looks just like steak, and it cuts just like steak. I mean, it's just a straight up lean piece of meat. Heart, really, it's really no. We could probably grill it up and eat it. It'd be like a lean piece of meat. Um, but what we really love about it is the texture after the dehydration process. Um, of course, it matters how and how thin you cut it. But still, something about the texture of the heart comes out really well besides those sandpaper pieces of steak you might get. Um, so if you ever get a chance to, to try to dehydrate beef heart, go for it, it's great. So I look for the, I try to find some uh, muscle fibers. There really isn't any, it's hard to find any fibers, but it looks like they're going this way. So I go opposite. I'm gonna try to, Tammy likes them thin. So we're gonna try to, I like them thick. So we're gonna try to meet in the middle. We're always getting, she always wonders if I'm making them too thick. But I try my best without a slicer, you know. And I have been looking at slicers, but I think this, is simple enough or we don't might not need a slicer. I'm gonna come over here. Give me a nice piece. I mean it's that'd be a big piece of jerky, it really would be, but we probably reach in we reach in and probably that'll be my piece probably right there. I'll try to make them thin here. We probably reach in and grab a piece here and there while as we're driving down the road, you know. Uh, and keep making sure we put good things in our body. Like I said, uh, I've been Dying to try bulgogi in my jerky, so uh, we're, for, we're only going to put a third. There's about a pound of heart here. We're going to put a third in the bottle. So we won't get too much of that bad ingredient we're talking about. We don't need corn. We don't need grains. But, I guess we're gonna try it. see how it goes. Marinate that overnight. And I'm gonna trim this one up and I'll show you the next one. Now, before I bag this up, I wanted to uh, say don't forget to have an acid. If, if uh, a lot of these products have apple cider vinegar in it, uh, the acid helps break down the meat, the muscle fibers. So I had a, a lime laying around and we also have some apple cider vinegar. Uh, so I think I'm going to add some lime to this bulgogi. Squeeze what I got in there. I mean, you know, something. It'll help break down the some more fibers. So. But if not, you got apple cider vinegar, check your ingredients, and if they 
usually contain an apple cider vinegar. And that's what's good about marinade. It helps break down those muscle fibers. All right, so this one's done. And now for this one. So a lot of times, you know, the heart comes kind of flaking off. I just, I go ahead and use it. Whatever's there, you know, that's a piece, you know. And you get it down to a thin piece like that. If you got a thick piece like this, you know, just, just uh, lay it flat. And uh, depending on what, where you want it, just cut it, butterfly it. you have the piece you want. All right, let's get back to slicing. What better way to get an organ meat than in jerky, a tasty jerky? Beef heart, heart is an organ meat, obviously. Liver, Ooh, liver can get Touchy when it comes to cooking it, you know, chalky. Uh, I don't even want to think about liver jerky. <laughs> we find ways to get it in, like our burgers. We hide it in meat, you know, or. Pretty much that's what we do. We have we, we're gonna saute one, I think, or fry one up one time. But I hear you're supposed to fry it up super hot, super fast. Keep it raw in, in the middle, but uh, we just haven't yet. So, this is probably the most, we got a little bit weird piece right here, but I'm gonna try to butterfly it. Get down to the... Uh, check the um, comments and the, um, description on the videos to and we'll post a link to our one of our uh, liver burgers recipes that we put not too long ago All right, so I'm down here valve oops <laughs> valve hard valve this is going to be a nice piece here could have been. Well, I went ahead and cut it because Tammy was uh, too thick. So I'm winding down. Almost done with this one. Well, looks like I got that yet. All right. So when we get down to the end, uh, can uh, hate making little chunks like long pieces. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, when you get down to the end, when you finish, you can check to see for pieces of fat, like that guy there. Kind of just trim them up. Make a little pile there for your dogamies. Don't be afraid to feed your dogamies some raw. That's how they, that's how they evolve. And so that's their natural diet. They didn't have a dehydrating machine. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you might see some funky wet mice, I'll just trim it off. And, it looks decent, pretty good. All right. Gonna bag it up. Heart valve. Wait, yeah, heart valve. <laughs> All right, this goes off. Have a set of vinegar with the mother. <laughs> gonna one, two, three, four. Yeah. And I'm gonna. No, I'm not. 
and I'm gonna, hey, whoops, sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, this will be liquid part of the marinade and we're gonna let it sit overnight. And in the morning, we're gonna pull it out and give it a dry sprinkle of some goodies, maybe like some garlic powder, onion powder, red chili powders, just to spice it up a little. So we'll see you in the morning. All right, it's so the next day. We marinated all night. I realized last night I didn't put the Lee and Perrins in with the cocoa aminos, so I did that and I marinated with it. Also, this is a good time to mention our uh, <clears throat> video we're gonna link in the description. It's gonna be uh, one of our organ meat videos. It, it was liver, bacon, and onion burgers. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna go out and we're gonna get rid, put them on the trays, dry season it, and dehydrate. All right, we got the bulgogi marinated heart jerky on our tray. I'm gonna season it up with some uh, red pepper flakes. Try to add a little heat, but also try to keep that, <clears throat> I wanna taste that flavor of the gold game. Gonna get it on there good. All right, this goes in the tray. This, uh, this is the, with the nuns, the Coco Aminos and the Lea and Parents with some apple cider vinegar. Vinegar makes everything taste good. So anyway, we're gonna do some, I've got a uh, last bit of my onion powder. I'm gonna do onion powder. I'm not afraid because with the garlic, it's gonna be like a barbecue. Excuse me. And then some garlic powder. Rub it in. I guess I could have. I guess I could really work them in. This is some more. Give these some heat. start your dehydrator uh, I start checking it at six to eight hours Tammy likes ten hours she wants dry jerky so we kind of try to meet in the middle but you want your temperature on 158 degrees that's dehydration temp and just put your trays in there and just that's simple this, this is about. All right, 
finished product is jerky, heart jerky. They are much better if you let them cool. Uh, we, we put them in a parchment paper and then put them in a, a Ziploc. So we use parchment paper to wrap the food whenever we put in plastic. Um, we don't want to release chemicals like in, when you heat things up, when you freeze things as well, it can release some chemicals. So we just try to be extra careful. Sometimes we make extra and we freeze and we take some in the truck. So it's an awesome snack. This one that we've actually cooled and uh, I got I like mine a little thick. And I love the texture of the heart. Tammy, she first. Small little crusty guys. <laughs> but hey, whatever you like. You can cut some thin, some thick. Dehydrate from up to six to ten hours. Mm. Love it. What flavor is that one? This one is, I think it's the so the uh, non soy, the uh, cocoa aminos, and the um, Lee and appearance. But it all it all comes out tasty. Texture's always right. We've been doing it for a year, so it's a great way to get nutrition, good snack. We hope you enjoy it. We'll see you out there on the road. All right, hope you enjoyed that video. There's no better way that we can think of to get nutrients packed in and it tastes great. Heart jerky is convenient, easy, doesn't need refrigeration, and that's really important for truck drivers. It's a lot of us don't have refrigerators. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Check out our other videos. Like Jeremy had mentioned, we will uh, attach a in the description a link to our liver bacon and onion burger. You gotta check that one out. Also, if you have not done so, we would appreciate the subscription to our channel. And comment below if you make these recipes. We'd love to hear your variations.